guys, what's up? It's me, Saki. So this video is probably still going to be coming out before the wedding vlog because I'm waiting to find out if a couple other people um, recorded during certain parts of the wedding, like when we were eating cake, it was delicious. So yeah, that might. I'm not exactly sure when that's going to be coming out. To um, as well, I have a question. Are you guys interested in a live stream? This is something Lady Maylene and I were talking about doing together is hosting a live stream over here and we can interact with you guys. Um, so look forward to that and tell me what your comments are down below or opinions, ideas, whatever. Uh, for those of you who are new here, hi, I'm Isaki. Nice to meet ya. So today we are doing a Let's Talk video because I realized earlier <laughs> I had a couple crazy stories um, regarding stalkers. I have had two stalkers, kind of. Yeah, well, yeah, they were stalkers, not kind of stalkers. How can you kind of be a stalker? You either are or you aren't. I mean, I guess, like, if you're a fan. I don't know what to do with these, though. It's like, yeah, I don't know what's going on here. So, anyways, <laughs> just ignore me and my crazy hair. Let's get right into it. So, the first stalker I had was in middle school and it didn't last very long it was literally like just a few minutes i was walking from my apartment to the bus stop to go to school and my mom had been watching out the window um she was always like really 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 overprotective fortunately this one time it proved beneficial <laughs> usually it was like just really i can't do anything at all whatsoever so, but me and her, we would have walkie-talkies, and even though she was watching, she still had walkie-talkies. And this one time, so I was walking through my apartment complex to go to the bus stop. This was early in the morning, going to school. And I walked past this person. I've never seen him before. They were just out taking a stroll or whatever they were doing. I don't know. So, I walked past them. Didn't really pay any mind to them. And as soon as I walked past them, and they were going this way, like... I was going here, he was going there, it was like I said in the back of my complex, it was just like straight way down um, that you could easily see like everything. So as soon as I passed him, instead of him keeping going, he immediately like looked at me and turned and like started following me. Um, so that was really strange, my mom was like, that guy you just passed, uh, he's following you. <laughs> So I'm going to send your stepfather out to follow him. So it was me walking down the complex, this creeper guy, and then my stepfather following all the way back behind him. So <laughs> I was like, ah, oh, should I? What should I do? She's like, just keep going to the bus stop. So I'm like, do 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 and I go to the bus stop, and I'm like hopping the wall. And when the creeper guy noticed that he was being followed, and we were just like a comical train in the back of the complex, he uh, turned and went off some other way. And I don't remember if uh, my stepfather kept following him or what was happened. I never saw that person again. I don't know if there was like a creeper white van anywhere or what could have happened or what. I just know that if anything ever was to happen to me, I would go um, batshit crazy on these people. Like bite and scratch and fight because I will never go down without a fight. <laughs> I am very much a fighter. Um, if any case ever were to rise, uh, they're going down with me if it comes to that. So, <laughs> yeah, so that was my first experience. Uh, ever since then, I'm always looking behind me, constantly, like, turning circles, like, really being extremely observant. I highly recommend all of you guys, whether you're a guy or a girl, always be very, very observant. Um, if you've seen my creepy people stories, that was, like, creepers on the bus, there are just creepy people out there all the time. Carry some pepper spray or a taser, whatever is allowed where you live. I don't know what the rules are in your country. Like over here, you can only carry a blade on you, like a knife, up to three inches. So whatever you can, whatever you got, you know, even like a ballpoint pen, you take the thing off and you're like, you can stab someone's eye out with that or whatever. Always be aware of your surroundings and be safe. Next story um, <laughs> happened about a year and a half, two years ago. And this was a little strange, um, well, it wasn't really strange, it was kind of, I don't know, maybe it was strange, <laughs> because I don't really know the person. So I was sitting outside of my work, I worked at a horrible call center at the time, and I just wanted to get away from everyone on my lunch and just be left alone, and I was reading uh, novels or manga or something on my phone during my lunchtime, 
and I would walk to the front of the building and it was kind of like a business complex so it wasn't too horribly busy all the time except for people that worked in the other buildings and stuff they would be driving by. So I would go out to the front in this nice grassy area covered in trees. Unfortunately there was a bunch of ants so I didn't really do that for too long because I just got really fed up with ants always trying to come and like get on me and I hated that. It was annoying. So, but anyways, apparently this guy who worked at a building uh, behind ours or next to ours or something, he had been watching me and I didn't know. I guess he like drove by all the time and saw me and yeah. So <laughs> one time like before I was sitting out on the grass in front of my work, I was walking to the bus stop. Uh, I, have to, I had to go a little bit of ways to walk to the bus out that would take me home and one time this person stopped in the car and um, he said, hey, do you want a ride? And I was like, oh no, I'm okay, I'm good, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to the bus and uh, he's, you know, just kind of friendly, you know, I've had people offer me rides, I always say no, except for one time this really nice lady, it was like freezing outside weather and I was all huddled up and the bus is late and she's like, you want to ride? I'm like, yeah, okay, sure. <laughs> so, but uh, I'm pretty good at reading people so the lady seemed like really, really nice and friendly and everything so I went with her. But otherwise, this guy, just like, I, no, no, I'm just, especially if it's a guy, I'm, I'm going to say no. So I said no, went on my way. A few days later when I was sitting out front um, eating my lunch, reading my books, this guy comes up to me like, he, I think he parked at like a parking lot across from me a little ways. So he walked up and he was carrying this bag. In the bag uh, was like a teddy bear, I could see it. And I don't know if there's something else in there. I wasn't really looking at that. So this guy comes up to me and he says, oh, hello. I'm like, oh, hi. It was the same person from the car. But I didn't realize it. I did not know that until later on. So he's like, hello, how are you? I'm like, oh, I'm doing good. What do you want? I'm ready to go away. You know, go away. Don't interrupt me. So he keeps saying, like, I've been, I don't know if he said I've been watching you or I've noticed you. He's like, I work at the building over there and, you know, I've kind of seen you. I think you're very pretty. Something like that, you know, nothing too creeper status, but still it's a little awkward that this random person just saw me and felt compelled to buy a bear for me and come up to me and he asked, you know, you know if I could get your number or uh, if, I don't think he said would you like to go out sometime, I think he asked like for my number, like you know he was hitting on you and I said oh no I'm sorry I'm married and even before when I wasn't married, I mean I was still with Luis, we've been together for a long time. I would always tell people I'm married, I always wore a ring on my hand anyways, even when I was single, just because I don't like people hitting on me. I just, I don't. I don't feel comfortable with that, and I'm really bad at turning people down. So I told this guy, oh, and I'm sorry, I'm married. You know, I'm, I'm already taken, but thank you very much for the uh, compliments. And he's like, oh, okay, well, I got this bear for you, just don't I'm like, oh, no, I'm sorry, I can't. Well, it's funny though, because later on my coworker's like, "Oh man, you should have took the bear. I would have taken it home myself," <laughs> which was really cute and funny. I like, I started laughing. It cracked me up so bad. But after that moment, you know, I felt really awkward and very self-conscious and like, okay, is someone watching me now. I felt so awkward going to the bus stop, and it was just really uncomfortable for me. Like, I have no idea how long that person had been watching me. I would assume he was watching me before he even asked for a uh, ride for me and like knew how I walked because where he was when he asked me for a ride is not a street that you would take to leave where he worked. Like it's a street that you would have to kind of go out of your way and go around and stuff to take to hit me, not hit me, but like to meet with me at that moment I was going to the bus stop. So yeah. <laughs> Stalker guy, no, anyone out there, guys, if you're thinking about that, just don't be a creeper. Just, just don't. Don't do that. It's awkward. It's very strange. It makes me feel very uncomfortable. It'll make a lot of other girls feel uncomfortable. So, those are my creeper stalky stalker stories. If you guys have any stories, tell me them down below. I always read your comments. You guys know that. I reply and I'll like, like them and everything. So, tell me your 
scary stories, and be safe out there. Hopefully this gives you a little entertainment, because <laughs> I had just remembered about that other creepy guy at my work earlier today. I'm like, I've had two stalkers now. This is getting a little strange. No more, please. <laughs> Definitely married woman now. So, anyways, please subscribe if you haven't already. I do videos weekly on all lots of different kinds of things. Uh, just check out my channel. See what's going on. Alright, may the force be with you. Have a lovely day, everyone. Stay safe. Bye! Staring at me. So I kind of stared back, like, leave me alone. Because, you know, like, angry, leave me alone kind of vibes. But he went, he just kept and staring at me until finally, like, you know, I, I freaked him out a little bit and he looked away.